coaches, most importantly, athletes, we want to welcome you to the Forest City School Dis District SP Awards Gala. Let's give a round of applause to our athletes. Yeah. I am here joined tonight uh, as a uh, co MC with none other than Mr. Miles Kimball. Mr. Kimball, if you'll join me, uh, he has his sneakers on today. Uh, which is a rarity for Mr. Kimball, but uh, step out so they can see your, see your sneakers, Mr. Kimball. I did it for Dr. Hodger tonight. Pull your pain in there, though, right here. Let's see your pain, though. Quick and dress up. All right, all right. Uh, at this time, what we'll do is we'll turn it over to our athletic director, uh, Coach Donnie Willis, who will give us um, prayer. Uh, grace over our food and the blessings for tonight uh, and then we'll uh, go ahead and enjoy our food and socialization uh, and then we'll come back to the stage led by Mr. Kimball and we'll start our awards program. Coach Willis. Let's bow our heads please. Over his intro God we thank you Lord for who you are and all that you have done. We thank you, Father, for just your grace and your mercy. And as we prepare ourselves to partake of this beautiful food and that has been taken care of for us, we ask that you bless it, cover it, Lord, cover us with thy blood. And Father, we'll always give thy name and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, I know the Forest City School District has had many excellent performances for the 2022 and 2023 school year. Today, we've come together to honor and celebrate all athletes who have exceeded all expectations to make this year's SP Awards one of the best that Forest City High School has ever seen. I'm Miles Kimball. Forest City High School alumni, and always a Mustang, joined by you all illustrious superintendent, our very own, Dr. Tiffany Hodrick. Again, I'm Dr. Hodrick, superintendent of the Forest City School District, but my biggest title is Biggest Cheerleader. We are both honored to be the MCs for this fine event. As Miles said, today is the day that Forest City School District gives recognition to all those achievers who went all out to represent their school. These were the athletes that stayed late, that came early, skipped going to the mall, or missed hanging out with friends. Or coming home after midnight to turn around and be up to attend first period or going to take their ACT. <laughs> yes, we've had some major highlights this year. To speak of some of the highlights, we are in the presence of our 5A boys earned state runner-up and track and field. Several conference champs are among us. Let's give the Forest City High School thunderous applause for all the deserving athletes in the house tonight. At this time, our Forest City School District Athletic Director has already given us words of prayer. So what we'll do is we'll turn now, we'll allow you to enjoy your meal, your friends and family at the table, and then we'll be back shortly. Thank you. <laughs> Acknowledge and kind of piggyback on them, as well as Dr. Hodrick and her team. Um, the facility that we are sitting in on tonight is absolutely amazing. Let's give our board members and our superintendent a big round of applause. We see a lot of great improvements across Forest City School District. Many might not acknowledge and oftentimes we hear the bad news, but it's always good to spread the good news, Dr. Hodge. Thank you. Uh, I want to just add one really uh, piece of important information as we give the awards. We have so many amazing students with amazing talents. I want to make sure that I recognize our construction technology class because all of the awards that you see were custom made by the students in four teams. <laughs> For those who are doing amazing work across our district, 
uh, and we should reward them and acknowledge them for the work that they do. We have many students who will go to college and we have many students who will make excellent career decisions and a lot of that starts right here in the Forest City School District. So if you see any of those students, custom made awards, thank you to Mr. Crenshaw and to the students of Construction Technology Classroom. <coughs> All right, now for the main event. It is time to begin with our awards presentation. And our first sport that we will highlight is eSports. And I'm going to ask that Coach Dustin Foltz please join Ms. Denisha here up front as we acknowledge this amazing and our newest program in Forest City School District. Most 
Mr. Layla Mosley.
for your MVP of the Ford City Mustang football program. We have Mr. Willie Murphy!
Mr. Melvin Shaw. Tomorrow in Burks. 
that right, Miss Denise? Two years in a row. All right. The most improved Ashley Award goes to Miss Chandon Hester.
state championship. I think Coach has several state uh, uh, titles under his belt, and the MVP was instrumental. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your MVP, Mr. Cameron Lee.
recognition goes to our athletes who not only do amazing, uh, compete amazingly at the school level, but they also compete at a very high level within the conference. And Forest City School District has an overwhelming amount of students uh, who made all conference, and they will receive the special awards made by our uh, construction uh, department. Uh, so, Mr. Kimball, if you will read the names on the sheet and if you will come forward. Football, Joshua Smith Patillo. Oh, yeah. Courtney Austin. Jamonte Flanoy. Volleyball, Kayla McKissick. Girls basketball, Charnel Huff. Girls basketball, Kylie Bailey. Boys basketball, my Keon White, Marcus Britt Jr., Melvin Shaw. Please come forward. Let's give them a big round of applause so far.
City High School All Sports fans. On tonight, we're going to present a Lifetime Achievement Award to the fan of the decade, the one and only. We want everybody to stand and give a thunderous round of applause for the one and only Michael Ball.
for football. Rashad Washington, who was off again at maintain a 4.0 and was an all conference receiver for football. <laughs> Receiving a third nomination was Miss Taylor Cole for being dedicated to the cheer program while doing two other sports. For eSports, the nomination was Miss Silver Wright, your class valedictorian, who served as a key player on the eSports team for the past three years. Miss Marsha Harris for softball, who has had, has great scholastic achievement, who is quite studious, and who is committed to her academic program. And baseball in the top 10% of the graduating class, Willie Murphy. For sure. The young people that you see before you are true student athletes, and they deserve a special round of applause for being committed to their academic program while maintaining. We have something, a gift card that will be donated to the students. I think it's from Hibbic Sports. The donation was made by uh, Keith Sanders of the Keith Sanders Group to the student athlete. This was a hard decision, but the decision came down to a student maintaining a 4.0 GPA while committing to three sports for three years. And so your winner of the Student Athlete Award. Are you roll? <laughs> Take a call. Special thank you to these athletes. Let's give them a round of applause if they take them. meter hurdle. As a 10th grader, he won the conference title in 
triple jump, high jump, and the state champion in triple jump. This track here, he won the conference in 300 meter hurdles, seven in the 110 hurdles. rather than a thoroughbred. Hey. Kind of is a depiction of a mule. A mule is more stamina than a horse, can jump to unrealistic heights. He's able to carry heavier loads than most and is willing to carry whatever is placed on his back. In one track meet this year, Kyman completed in nine events, winning the long jump. Coach, what's the TJ? The triple jump, the high jump, the 110 hurdle, the 300 hurdle, the 200 meter dash, and was part of all three, part of three of the four relay team. Most call him smooth, but his name should be Poetry in Motion. Ladies and gentlemen. They deserve to be recognized. Thank you all. Last but not least on tonight, I almost finished. I want y'all to give y'all undivided attention to this award. Dr. Hodgick, I'm going to give you the honor in presenting this last award, this Lifetime and Achievement Award, um, to this individual on tonight. All right. The person that receives this Lifetime Achievement Award has touched so many lives for 30 plus years as a coach, as a teacher, as a dean, as an athletic director, as a four-time state champion in outdoors a two-time state champion indoors. And every year, every year, he's in the conversation at the state level. And so winning conference championships, we can't even count them all. We don't know 20, 25, he has no idea. But his work in this community has earned him, has earned him naming rights of the track and field. The Dunning Willis track and feel. And so ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to stand on your feet to a gentleman who deserves all of his flowers while he's here.